in this video, we are going to configure OSPF routing protocols using interface subcommand. So, uh, so interface subcommands will be used. That is easier as compared to for me. This seems, uh, and I think for all as well. So this seems that this this is the easier than network commands. So what we do by using sub interface commands, we configure OSPF on these routers here. So. Uh, to 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 make this video shorter, I have done something before this enabling OSPF routing protocol. So you can see here we have two networks. One is this network, one is this network on the right hand side. This is 192.168.10 and this is 10.10.0. So they are these are two networks and they are connected by using these two routers and we have to enable OSPF routing protocol so that the computer sitting in one network or one subnet should be able to communicate with the computer on second subnet. So this is the uh, 192.168.10.2 is the IP address given to this PC. So we can see here. So dot two is the piece, um, IP address given to this PC, and this is the subnet mask, and this is the IP address of the default gateway. Are the of this interface of the router so you can see this is there and then in the same way I have configured the IP address for this computer and I have configured the IP address for this interface of the router now with this basic uh, uh, configuration what we are going to do we are going to enable OSPF by using uh, sub interface command so what we do I haven't given IP address to this interface of this router. So this interface is basically G00. So if I just turn on these all interfaces, then we can, this may be options. And if I say just always show this port levels, then this will be maybe, this will be crowded, but it will just be easier to, to check the interfaces. Otherwise we just have to, place the cursor here and we have to wait that it shows there. Anyway, this is this is the interface, this is G0 slash 0 slash 0 and on that interface I have to configure this IP address and on this interface we have to configure on uh, this IP address and these both IP address need to be within the same subnet. Okay, going to this router and then enter and config T to, to go to global configuration mode and from this global configuration mode, we go to that particular interface. So that is interface gigabit zero slash zero slash zero, enter. And if you want to go IP address to that, so we can this IP address, and that is uh, IP address 172.16.01, so 172.16.0.1. One and subnet mask is 255.255.0.0. Uh, and enter and now no shut. And now in sub interface command, in sub interface mode, sorry, in, with the help of sub interface uh, command, we are going to configure OSPF. Uh, so what we do here. We just say OSPF, sorry, IP OSPF, IP OSPF, and the, then process ID number. So that's one, maybe. We can use one. So an area. So let's suppose area of one. And enter. So with this command, actually, we have configured OSPF, or we have enabled OSPF on this interface. And if you want to um, configure on this, then we need to go to that particular interface. So what we write, we say interface, and that is gigabit. So instead of writing complete, so G0 slash 0 slash 1. And we can say, we can use the same command. So that is IPOSPF and process ID 1, area 1, and enter. So with these commands, we have actually enabled OSPF on both of the interfaces of this router. And let's move to this router and do the same thing. So this is 
the router and we are going to command line interface, enter, and then enable. We need to go to global configuration mode. For that, we need config T and then interface. And this interface is gigabit zero slash zero slash zero. So we say gigabit zero slash zero slash zero, enter. And then we need to assign IP address. So IP address is 172.16.0.2 and then subnet mask 255.255.0.0 and enter and no shut comma and enter and then we need to enable OSPF on this interface of the router so IP OSPF and the process ID is one, area is one. So we are configuring this uh, OSPF for one area, so say this single area, and then we enter, and we need to go to this. If you want to interface, go to this interface, then just we need to write interface, and this is D zero slash zero slash one, and then, D zero slash zero slash one, and uh, then we need to use that OSPF command. That is IP OSPF. Process ID is one, and then area is one, and then enter. So we configure OSPF on these routers using interface subcommands. Clear. So this was simple method or simple commands which we can use to enable OSPF on these uh, routers. And for verification, let's suppose that if you, if you go here on this router and if you use command show IP route, then it should show us the uh, uh, route learned by this OSPF protocol. So you can see this is there, OSPF is there. And if you want to go and check here, we can use show uh, IP route. So it is it should show us. We can see O stands for OSPF. So you can see these are the codes by which you can, and these are connected and local interfaces which we discussed in previous video. Otherwise, you can see that C C means connected and L means local. And local is a particular host and connected is information about the connected subnet. Anyway, so this shows that we have configured OSPF on both of the routers and now we should be able to ping the PC from this subnet to this subnet. And for that, what we do, we go to this uh, computer and then use command prompt and we say ping. And the IP address for this PC is 10.10.2. So 10.10.10.2 and press enter. And if we have not made any mistake, it should work. So yes, it took some time for uh, MAC address resolution, but we got three packets out of four, so it's working. It means with this, we are able to ping or we are able to get connected from this PC to this PC, which are in different subnet. So it means the OSPF is working, which we configured with the help of interface sub command. So this, with this simple lab, uh, I hope uh, we could see actually this. Uh, the functionality of this interface subcommands to enable OSPF on on the on the interfaces, and here for it we use actually sixteen the subnet mask. So okay, so yes, I hope uh, this was a bit helpful for you, and uh, thank you, thank you very much for your time.